Mommy, let me you explain. must be distressed by the news from Paro. I need to rest my head. You too, try and take a nap. There's lunch on the table. She was probably in shock. After all, I'd never lied to her like this before. I ruined everything, and for what? It was all my fault. <laughs> Things didn't get better as the weekend passed. I could tell mom was thinking, but whatever she was mulling over, she wasn't sharing with me. I spent my time alone slumming. I wondered how many people from school had watched my god-awful TV debut. I kept my phone off. Calling my televised alien experiment wouldn't work this time. I would need to come up with a new lie. Stop it! Hold! This is... It's alright to cry, it's alright to let teardrops fall from your eyes Even the darkest night will find the light It's alright to cry, it's alright to cry So break down in shutters if you need to, it's fine It's all, it's all, it's alright it's all, it's all, it's all right. It's all right to cry. 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 You can't be strong even if you try. It's all right to cry. It's all right to cry. So give in this moment and then drive I didn't want to go to school this week, but I had no courage to tell mom. I tried several times to catch her eye. Perhaps she would see what torture I was going through. But she didn't look in my direction even once. <laughs> I went to school as early as possible. So far, no one had accosted me. A 
Apart from hiding from the shame of the quiz, I wasn't in the mood to socialize. Esther, 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 Esther. 19. See yes, yes. <sighs> Seeing Esther move up the ranks was an instant mood booster. In fact, it felt like a personal success. Surprisingly, I was stagnant. Why is he making me worry about him? Does he know how selfish that is? Maybe it wasn't such a clever idea to come so early. I would meet everyone who arrived and there was bound to be someone who watched the quiz. I needed to see Adam. I needed to make sure that at least things were right with both my friends before I gave in to the darkness. Forgive my sweater. I found your notes. Adam. Yep. What are you doing out here? Hiding. Seemed he hadn't seen the segment. Good. <sighs> we need to talk. About what? Well, first, I saw the mock results. Adam. And? I've already seen that I did worst in this test. I'm aware. You don't need to lecture me about it. Uh, what? Okay, I'm not here to lecture you. Then why are you here? Because I'd rather be alone right now. Do you think I too don't want to be alone? You think I don't have problems of my own? It's obvious something about you has changed. You're not yourself anymore. <laughs> and what is myself? Open, cheerful, involved. You're the complete opposite these days. People can't be happy all the time. Obviously not. And I'm not saying you should be. I'm just saying you should share what's going on with you so we can understand and maybe even help you. You can't fix everything, Olive. You don't always have the answer. Maybe you should help yourself first. You're doing worse than me. What are you? Is that what I said? Olive, listen. I have things on my mind that you can't help. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry I'm not laughing at your jokes and, and chasing you around like nothing else matters. I'm sorry that even after you rejected me that night in Abuja, I still followed you like a lost puppy. I'm sorry I mean myself like that. Man, I can't even have problems without you taking it personally. Not everything is about you, you know. Every single word stung. But I was sane enough to see that he was looking for a fight. Looking for a reason to go his own way. Like he blamed me for everything that had gone wrong, whether I knew about it or not. He was looking for someone to take his anger out on, but it wasn't going to be me. Not today. And it took an incredible amount of self-control for me to do what I did next. It's obvious you're not in a good mood. Maybe we'll talk later. Mm -hmm. I have tried, oh I have tried, yeah, to become better. But I'll die again if I said it, it'll last forever. I know I make mistakes, it's just the way I am. That's why you have to know.
The days passed uneventfully, as either people were no longer watching TV quiz shows, or perhaps everyone else was too preoccupied with their own business to bother talking about it. Whatever the reason, I was thankful. As soon as Astra caught wind of the tension between me and Adam, she told us to make up or else she wouldn't talk to either of us. We didn't reconcile, and so I lost Astra too. How do I even start? Just go in and confront her, right? I should just pretend I'm visiting and casually bring it up. Oh shit! need back up. <sighs> Hi, Chica. Hi. No, yeah. Where is Romeo? He's at work. There is Saturday. Oh, true. I know I said I wasn't going to get involved in Gloria's matter, but I thought it would help to distract myself with someone else's problems. And so when Iris called, I answered. Where are you going? To meet Iris. She's um helping me with the school project. Who is Iris? Oh, she's the deputy head prefect. She's smart. Oh. Chica. Yes? I need your help with something. What? I need to sell something in the market. You know the vendors there were right? Yes. Why? How much do you think I can get for this watch? Where did you get this? Why? This must have cost a lot of money. Where did you get it from? Um, my classmates. She wants to be my friend so bad, so she gave me the best advocate. I need the money more than the watch. So, hmm. is this the kind of gift friends give out these days? I mean, maybe I should go back to my secondary school. Won't you like me to sell it for you? They'll give at a better price if I'm the one selling. Are you sure? Yes, they'll treat you with this adjustable face. Call me when you have the money. Okay, I will. But I'll take some commission. 5%? Ah, you are very wicked. Why will I take 5% when I'm the one doing the work? I did a lot of work too in getting this watch. What work did you do? You said it was a gift. Yes, right. <laughs> so, 15%, be going. Okay. Bye. Gloria! Yes? Confess. Why? There is something. Oh, yes. <laughs> I forgot to pay for this one. You know, for my watch money, okay? Wait. What's this? Why are you opening my bag? Are those not? They are not. Gloria! What's this? Were you going to live without pain? I would have paid for them. Later. Gloria! Are you stealing from me? Gloria! Why are you, 
are you stealing? Are you possessed or what? Why will you steal from me? For what? Gloria, answer me. Ha! Mm. Huh? How long have you been doing this? No wonder my book refused to balance. Ah, Gloria, who is your brother? Your mother said about this. No, please. Don't tell my mother or brother, especially not my brother. Uh -huh. okay. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Senior Iris, what are you doing here? Uh, I came here to shop. Can't I shop here again? You left all the fancy shops in your neighborhood just to come and shop here? <clears throat> I was passing by. Uh, I just need to grab some things. Carry on with what you're doing. Excuse me. Are you Gloria's friend? Because if you also came here to steal from me, then leave now. What? Still, Iris, I came here to tell her to stop stealing. Ah, so they also know you as a thief in your school? No, they don't. Not yet, anyway. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Of course I do. I saw you. Olive saw you too. God knows who else. Oh, God. Gloria, why are you stealing? Like, what's the point? Don't try to lecture me. But the last person I would listen to. Maybe you should listen to her. What took you so long? Who is she? Romeo's friend. Good evening. I'm Olive. Good evening. Olive, the girl he did the competition with, right? Oh, really? So you're the young girl he's always talking about. Nice to meet you. So what brings you here? I'm here to back Iris up. You know her? Yes, she's the deputy head prefect at our school. Oh, really? I thought she's Gloria's co thief. Excuse me? How do we... So you people know about this girl's name, please. Please, she isn't usually like this. Chica, don't mention my name. Tell me why you are committing crimes. to explain myself. This doesn't affect any of you. Eh? Let me slap! Why here pretending to care? You're just trying to get my brother to like you. He doesn't. Selfish brat! Romeo is my friend. And I won't watch you ruin his hard work with your idiocy. Why did you tell people your family is wealthy? Hey! God. Hey! How did you... Who, who? I am not DHP for nothing. And don't worry, your little friends did not rat you out intentionally. I came all this way to stop you from throwing away what you have. And you're giving me a foul attitude as if you've done well. You dumb girl. Do you think they don't know about your family financial status? And you are here lying that you are rich. My brother is very private. They all assume he's rich to be rolling with the likes of her. <laughs> Gloria, you got into LHS on a scholarship. Do you know how incredibly difficult that is? That alone should make you proud. What is the point of stealing? Both of you are from rich homes, so how would you know? How could you possibly know how it feels for others to look down on you simply because you can't afford things like a new backpack or more than one uniform? I wasn't going to let some snotty, snobby LHS girls look down on me. No way! I'd rather steal. Your first mistake was trying to compete against those girls in the first place. You will never win. Iris. Not with this pitiful plan. It is better to accept your level and play to your strength. You're smart. You have a loving family. Some of those girls would give an arm and a leg to have half of what you have. And you'd better believe me because I'm one of them. Your family has sacrificed to give you their best. Your brother is working while schooling to ease the burden. And you're here, staining their integrity and hard work because you cannot ignore a few superficial girls. Gloria, anyone who measures your value by material things isn't worth your friendship. With time, you'll find the people who care about the real you, rich or not. Hey, my baby. Hmm? Who is doing my baby? 
Eh, it's okay now, Gloria. It's okay. It's okay. Oh my God, it's okay. Eh? Don't worry. So you do have a heart. It's made of concrete. Who hurts you? Mind your business. Are you feeling better? I'm sorry. Don't worry. Happens to the best of us. About my friends, I don't know what to do. Tell them the truth. Give them a chance to prove themselves. Anyone who sticks around after that, you'll know they're for real. No way! I'm not going to announce to everyone that I'm a liar and a thief. Then don't tell them. Just tell them they misheard you the first time. Mm, more lies. Don't take advice from someone whose only friend is her twin and your brother. I'll return this and I'll pay Chica back as much as I can. Better, but it won't be easy. Just please, don't tell my brother. Nah. Please, please don't tell him. Not when I can fix this. I'll take any punishment you give. No punishment from me. I'm just glad you're remorseful. I'll take you on that if need be. Okay, bye. <sighs> that actually felt good. Gee, who would have thought helping others would feel good? They didn't think you had it in you. Me either. You're rubbing off on me. Ugh. While I'm being helpful, why have your grades been so embarrassing lately? Good night, stinky face. Esther, I didn't be turning your phone so you can press it anyhow. You're supposed to interact with family, not with your phone, Esther. Mommy, I'm about to investigate what might be the greatest discovery ever known to man. Is it the cure to cancer? The end to world hunger? Or the solution to corruption in Nigeria? <laughs> uh, no. Then drop the phone before I seize it permanently. Mm -hmm. Now we can see your pretty face. Tell us about school. I saw that your grades have greatly improved. Yes. Chelo, see. Don't act as if your life is taken from you. What is left before school is over? Final exams and then Christmas party. Looks like you guys spent the entire time writing exams. I know, right? And it's going to be like that until we graduate. You didn't even get to do anything fun. Do you go to school to have fun? The outings I let you have with your friends, are those not enough fun? Or have you been fighting with Artie? I'm going to bed. In my boredom, I found myself reading A. Augustine's Darkest Secret. The girls were right. The author was seriously talented. His writing was powerful enough to transport any reader away from their own cares. <gasps> what? Esther! Still not talking to you, Adam. Wait, this is more important. A. Augustine goes to our school. What? I know, he just updated his profile. Check. Students at LHS AKS Nigeria. We're the only LHS in this state, right? I think so. 
Oh my god, this is so exciting. Ah. We have to find him. We have to. I can't believe it. What? <laughs> See you at school. <sighs> what are the odds? A Augustine, an LHS student. What if I know him? For yesterday night, didn't you see it? Who could it be? Do we have any A Augustine in this school? I don't even know. I wonder what the A his name stands for. Otto, Akman, Anthony, Anyekan, Papas. Why is he even being secretive? Because he's ugly, like Julius said. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't want to be judged harshly. Oh, we love his book. It's up already. If he does, we will let him rest. Staying anonymous keeps the pressure off. Abby? For all we know, he could even be in this class. Eh? Ochi and Adam are both A. She. Me? For what? Adam, is it you? You're a good writer. You are doing the essay competition. Uh, um, how can it be Adam? You think he has time to write the top training novel? While he's carrying out head prefect duties, writing mock exams every two weeks and being an exemplary student. Come on, guys. Right. How could it be me? Wait. Maybe it's a girl claiming to be a boy just to treat you people. Maybe it's someone who doesn't care about school. That explains how they have time to write it. Ali, are you the one? Your grades dropped. Is this a social experiment you've been doing? Don't you guys know me by now? If I wrote Darkest Secrets, do you think I'd be humble about it? Talk less secretive. Abby, you have not passed time written by Olivier all over the cover. Don't worry, bro. I got your back. What do you mean? I'm not the writer. And as announced in this morning's assembly, I want to congratulate the winner of this year's Edison Essay Contest, Adam Andrews. I would like to also congratulate all those who participated. Competition was stiff, but you all wrote very good essays. I'm proud of your work. Your last mock exam starts 11 a.m. this morning. Many of you improve with every exam. The rest, start knit. The rest of you who have refused to leave the bottom, I urge you to reconsider. That will be all. Olive, follow me, please. I've heard strange rumors that you're failing on purpose. That's obviously false. Am I wrong? No, Mom. Olive, I was like you in school, top of my class. A student like that does not just fail on purpose. So have I any hope of learning the actual truth? Not today, Mom. Have you told anyone the truth? No, I'm not. Are you being bullied? Coerced or...? No, ma'am. Are you rebelling? Is this some teenage rage thing? I don't think so. What does your mum have to say about this? Nothing. 
Does she not check? I wish she hadn't. All right. I gather you speak in this when you're ready. I strongly advise you see the counsellor. She might be of help. If for anything, she'll listen in confidence. Thank you, ma'am. Very well. Carry on. Should I even bother at this point? Thank God this is the last one. Hey guys, the table looks scanty. You're fighting with your friends, aren't you? Is it like an end of the year ritual for you guys? What do you mean? Last year, you and Esther fought right before the school Christmas party. Remember? Oh. How do you know that? The entire class knew. You guys weren't exactly being discreet, arguing in front of everyone. Oh. So tell me, who are you at war with this time? Adam. Esther won't talk to either of us until we've made up, so... I approve. Of course you approve, jerk. And the worst part is neither of them will tell me what they're fighting for. I've become an outsider. I wonder why they'll call me their friend if they're both being so selfish. You should just let them sort it out, okay? Occupy yourself with something you enjoy. Like what? The only fun I have is usually with them. You're still your own person, okay? You know how fast to get bored. Why don't you plan something fun by yourself and do it? I know, right? <sighs> don't think about it. Just when I was starting to earn their trust, you went and did this, Adam. How am I supposed to be their friend now? I'm sorry. It wasn't intentional. Well, now what? Why don't you hang with Esther one day and with Olive another? This is so not cool. Evelyn, you don't have to stay away from them because of me. You guys are friends now. I'm sure they'll appreciate your support. Why are y'all fighting though? Nothing. Olive. How close is Evelyn to Adam? How well does Adam know her? Pretty well, I guess. They were kindergarten besties, so... Hmm. Huh. Why? Do you know something I don't? Maybe. Tell me, I've been looking for evidence to prove that she's a fraud. Why do you think she's a fraud? Because she doesn't have one sincere boot in her body. Trust me, I've checked. I thought you guys were friends. I'm trying, but there's just something about her that repels me. Maybe it's the fact that she's all over Adam. No, we're best friends. Friends don't. <coughs> sure you are. Everyone, I'm starting a new club. Girls only. I don't know what we're going to be doing yet, but we'll be making some new friends. Who's in? <laughs> okay, I didn't expect this many people. Stop, what are you doing? You'd also have to weigh more than 70 kg and your grades must be average at best. A 
Anyways, if you're interested, meet me in the field after school. Ow! What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? What do you think you're doing joining Esther's stupid club? Because I want to. And it's not stupid. You don't even know anything about it. I know it's stupid because Esther is the one running it. What are you even going to do there? You don't suit the criteria. I used to. And you heard her. Make new friends and have fun. Excuse me? You don't need new friends. Well, I am sick of you being so full of yourself. And I'm tired of being caught between you and Romeo. And whatever these dumb vibes that you guys have. Ivy, I... I am joining the club. And you can't stop me. You're just jealous because I'm going to be part of something exclusive and you're not invited. Hmm. What? This is not exactly what I meant when I said... Well, this is what I think will make me happy without my friends. Meeting new people who I share the same things with. The only thing you have in common is just some random attributes. Random? Those are the things people point out when they see us. Our looks, intelligence, gender. Esther, I didn't mean... I know you mean well, but girls like us tend to be sensitive and defensive. But I'm trying to overcome that. I admit I can be ignorant about a lot of things. But you have my support. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Guys, I'll be right back. <laughs> I wanted to sit at the cool kids table. Don't stop on my behalf. It looks like you guys were having fun. Yeah. I'm going to talk to Esther. Okay. Catch you later. What do you want, Ebony? What kind of club are you starting without me? Have you made up with Adam? No. Then it's none of your business. I can't believe you'd intentionally keep me out. Well, you and Adam should consider how selfish you're being. He's the enemy, not me. You're both the enemy until you make up. All his fault. And now you've forsaken me for strangers. Why don't you form your own club then? The... The No Friends Club. Maybe I will. They should both sort themselves out. I'm sick of their fighting. Esther, what have you done? Oh, what have you done? You can do this. You can do this. Hi. 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 Okay. Hi, Esther. Hi. Okay. Hi. Thank you guys for being interested in my club. It was really spontaneous. I've never really led anything before in my life, but first time for everything, right? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we've had a very stressful term and I really wanted to unwind and hang out with the girls who are usually sidelined, I guess. This weekend, I think we should hang out, do something fun together, eat our favorite snacks, maybe watch a movie. What do you think? How about the sleepover? Then we can do a lot of things. Really? Great idea! Yeah, and we can each bring snacks and drinks to share. But where would we have you do? At my house. My house is perfect. How about this Sunday so we can have time to prepare? And it could be a pyjamas party instead of a sleepover because we have school on Monday. 5 p.m. until 8 p.m. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that was, that was good. That was good. Okay, if everyone is okay with it, let me have your names and phone numbers so we can be in the group chat. Okay.
He was acting on nonchalant earlier. So stubborn. All right, bye. You don't match the criteria. I used to. Well, you don't anymore. You're pretty much perfect now. Why would you even want to be a part of my club? I'm not doing this so we can be friends. I just need a change. Is so I risk suffocating you at home? The star has a big head. <sighs> See you on Sunday. Welcome, sir. Join me, Lucille. Would you like to see the menu, Mom? I'll have whatever he's having. Thank you. All right. Great choice. Mm -hmm. Sorry, are you a regular here? Of course. My friend Felix owns the chain. Ah. I'm surprised you agreed to join me. Why? Well, it's obvious you don't like most of the teachers. I assume that included me. Please. So, how has it been teaching at LHS? Heading SS3A? A lot of responsibility for a new intake. How is it? I'm more than up to the task. I don't doubt that. I assume the kids are doing well. Even the notorious flunkers are improving. Well done. Thank you. I heard you declined another class assignment. Had enough? Don't give me wrong. I love being a teacher. But some of my other dreams are suffering. What were the dreams? Travelling Africa for a start. It's one of the things I've been saving up for. But not made out time to do. Mm -hmm. And teaching geography all these years has given me a sense of the world. All that's left is to see it. And I've let time and opportunity pass. At some point, I said to myself, I will learn French while I wait for the perfect time. You know, since it's the other big colonial language. But I didn't make out time to take proper classes. So I started reading French dictionary. <laughs> Much good that has done. I hope you know there's no such thing as the perfect time. It's only the time you make available. These days, I don't know if I've lost the courage to go. I mean, where do I start? What about the kids? Thank, Thank you. you. Perfect end to a stressful day. You always know what I need. Of course, I know your mother. When did you come back? Not long ago. Ah, mommy, you should rest. The journey was long. Let's go. Oh, relax, relax. What did you? Who should be parenting who? Your father and sister are doing well. Thanks for asking. Oh. They will come for Christmas. As uh, Gloria adapted well, I hope she's not making trouble in school. I think she's fine. What of you? I'm focusing on myself. Hmm. Wait. What of the girl visited last? What girl? The girl that came to the house some time ago. Victor told me. Ah, <laughs> Iris. She's just a friend. Nothing special. Okay. But I, I don't believe you, Cher. Mommy, welcome back, eh? Let's go home.
I still hadn't explained my fading streak to my mom. I was waiting until after I had overcome it. I couldn't tell my friends either, especially since Adam hadn't apologized for being a jerk and Esther didn't want to be caught in the middle. At least I was consistent. If my so-called experiment was to see if I could rank 15th in all four mock exams, then I was killing it. Bar University notified the school that you've been taking off their wait list. Are you aware? Then why aren't you asking for help? Olive, you're the type to keep things suppressed and hope that they will go away. But as you can see, they won't. Not until you talk about them and find ways to overcome them. Are you going to stay stubborn and quiet until things are beyond repair? If you don't speak, how can we help? Or are you going to play victim? You'll get nowhere. Leave if you don't want my help. I can see your homework and classwork scores are still the best as usual. But this low scoring happens only with tests and exams. Do you know why? I googled my symptoms and I think I suffered test anxiety. What symptoms? Drawing blanks, sweaty palms, um, unable to focus, headaches, stomach aches sometimes. When did this start? Test week, but it's happened once before. Tell me about it. Started after my father died. I told her about it. Every detail I could remember from my childhood incident. The trigger, the symptoms, the fix, everything. I would agree with your diagnosis, but you're not the usual candidate. So, what's happening to me? Well, the first time it happened is understandable. Grief and trauma usually trigger all sorts of responses. But can you think of what could have caused this one? It just started randomly. You say it started again by test week? Yes. This was also the week of elections, right? Yes. And how important was winning head prefect to you? Very. I wanted to improve things for the student body and prove my leadership skills. It would have been great for my portfolio too. I wanted to impress Baron. It was also the time when everyone found out I'd been suspended, so I had much to prove. So you were feeling the pressure? I feel pressure all the time from everyone, even if they're not saying anything. From myself too. I can't bear well, I couldn't bear being less than best. So, I can imagine how torturous it's been. I can imagine. I saw you on TV. You looked terrified. You watch Think on Your Feet. Turns out you are sick. Here. I am. Your mindset isn't healthy. Olive, why do you need to be the best? If I'm not the best, then what am I? If I'm not the best, will I matter? Will I be praised, respected? What do I have to offer apart from my intelligence? Without it, I'm, I'm nobody. You know, humans, we're not always the best. Highs and lows, ups and downs. It's the law of life. You know, even the world's greatest athletes, even in their prime, aren't always the best. And do you matter when you're not the best? Absolutely yes. The students with the worst grade matters. Or do you think they don't? Of course they do. They matter. Then why not you? You don't have to be the best to be valuable. You're valuable regardless of the score on your sheets. 
You're valuable simply because you exist. Esther, are you sure this space will be adequate? Why don't you just use the parlor? No, thank you, Mommy. We want a cozy and private place. Okay. I hope you have enough snacks and drinks. Yep. The girls will be here any minute. I've already instructed Imabong to bring them here. And we'll be done by 8 o'clock. All right. I'll be in my room if you need me. Okay. Thank you, Mommy. <laughs> Kind of arrive at the same time. Oh, how convenient. Come here. Hi. Still not your friend. Okay, you can sit wherever you want. I have water, drinks, snacks. Feel free to dig in whenever you want. Wow. Your room is really nice. My friend's mom is an interior designer. Oh, cool. Senior Olive, right? So, what's first? Oh, yeah. I've prepared a small program here. But if you guys have anything you'd like to do, just let us know. As long as your program is not boring, I'll go with it. Okay. First, let's do introductions. Your name, age, class. Favorite food, music artist, and a fun fact about you. I'll go first. Okay. I'm Ungazi. I'm 13. I'm in GS3. Favorite food, right? Fried rice and any type of grilled fish. What next? Music artist. Yeah, that's a no-brainer. Angel. <gasps> OMG, awesome. And fun fact, I love making friends, obviously. I love to travel and take photographs. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Jenny. I'm 15 years old in SS1. My favorite food is anything really. I listen to any kind of music. I don't really have a favorite. <clears throat> Fun fact is, I play the piano. Mm. Cool. Mama, this girl's your brave, oh. Your senior announced something and you entered. I didn't know it was for SS3 only. It wasn't. You're welcome here. <clears throat> My turn. Um, I'm Amma, Shres I'm 16, I'm in SS2. My favorite food is catfish with the soup. And my favorite artist is John Billen. Fun fact about me is that my family own a chain of department stores. Uh, that's not really a fun fact about you, though. Dog, that's the one I choose. <coughs> Whoop! It's finally my turn. <laughs> I'm Barbara, but you can call me Barbie. I'm just straight, 17. I can eat tamala and no bono at 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Music. Oh, I like Ariana Grande. <laughs> Fun fact is, I talk too much. My family has tried and failed to stop me from talking all the time. So, sorry to you guys in advance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm Esther. I'm 16, SS3A. I listen to all kinds of music, but Angel is my current favorite. Fun fact about me is I should probably hold Guinness World Record for fastest sexer. <laughs> oh, many of you know me. We don't know you, Ma. Introduce yourself. Ivy, 16, SS3S. I mostly listen to trap and rap music. And my fun fact is that I'm a twin. 
I can feel your eyes stuck on my head. What? Are you really going to sit there and tell me you are not Air Augustine? Yep. Liar. It's definitely you. <sighs> What's happened to the defense you made at school? How can it be me when I have so much on my plate? Hmm? What proof do you have? I saw you. <laughs> What do you mean you saw me? Saw me doing what? Daddy tried to hide, but I saw you writing it. Just didn't know it was the one. So how do you know it's the one now? That's not proof. The fact that you're not rightly denying it is proof. You're even writing it now, aren't you? You caught me. <sighs> I'm A. Augustine. Of course you are! Adam Andrews, A. Augustine, A. A. You just had to. I couldn't resist. But you can't tell anyone. She have done me since from the beginning. But I've helped you spread your fame. <laughs> no, thank you. You're not exactly known for your tactfulness. Why did they keep this from even Oliver and Esther? They won't be smiling when they find out. They'll understand my reasons. What's wrong with that? What's your reason exactly? Because, as I've seen, people love your work. Until they don't. Then what? They'll have a face to associate with their disappointments. No way. I get not being able to handle the pressure. But isn't that part of the process? You win some, you lose some. Hiding is not an option. <laughs> it sure is. And I'm going to use it until I can't anymore. <laughs> Somehow, the week's events helped me put my life in perspective. From helping Gloria to meeting with Counselor Justice, I realized that I was suffering from a major identity crisis. And so I called the one person who would tell me the objective truth, my cousin Emma. Hi, sweet thing. Hey, Emma. Oh, you sound down. What's wrong? Oh, nothing's wrong. I just need to ask you a favor. What is it? It might sound weird, but just do your best, okay? Of course, love. What are my qualities? No frills, just fact. Hmm. Uh, okay, well. I panicked on the inside. What if even Emma couldn't identify any other merits of mine? What if I really wasn't good for anything else? Ollie, you are the most courageous person I know. You stand up for others, friends and strangers alike. You always try to see the good in people. You're very brave. You never let injustice slide as long as it's within your power. Your heart is gold. You're kind, forgiving, honest, perhaps to a fault. You love so hard, you can literally give an arm for the ones you love. Even when it seems like you're the coldest fish on the planet, your heart is always warm. And you're clever, strange, awkward and weird. All in a good way, of course. You're refreshing. Stupid funny when you get your head out of those school books. There's so much more I could say, but I'd have to think about it and call you back. Why'd you ask? Is it for, like, homework or something? Hello? Hello, Ollie? Surprise, surprise, don't deny us 
She telling me she want to be my lover, yeah I love you when she want to be my lover, yeah My little baby girl rides on me My little baby girl rides on me Maria, 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 Maria ah. Every time you're looking out for me Every time you're looking out for me Love you, oh yeah Thought I might find you here What do you want? Hoping to change your mind. How did you even know I'll be here? Twitter. I follow DJ Frisk and you're on a sales party flyer. Ah, so you're now stalking me. I'm here to fix a misconception. <laughs> Which one? I know you believe what you heard that day at Felix Lounge. I do. And you heard right. But that's not me anymore. I've changed. Really? When did you decide to change? Before or after I caught you? I know it's hard to believe, but I didn't have friends growing up. And I didn't know how to make friends until now. I only knew how to self-sabotage. But this time I'm for real. Why are you telling me this? Why does my opinion of you matter? Because the image you have of me is wrong. I can't let you think I'm some witch here to cause trouble. I admit, I'm a little jealous that you're friends with Olive, but I'm not trying to ruin that. I just want to be someone you care about too. And I care because 